Granddads are granddads. What's happening? She got a black abstract. Right here. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, you're new to the channel, I go by the name of the Black Abstract. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, strategist, uh, and a YouTuber now. You see all my little, my little uh, promotional artwork for a couple of my singles. You know, I used to throw parties as well. This is not even half of the parties I used to throw. Open up for G Herb a little baby before uh, countless others. Um, but anyway, the reason why we're here today, um, I got I was going through my old videos, and one of the, the videos when I first started my channel was me when I first got my first T-shirt press, uh, which is this right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in. It's the Pro Road Trans Pro, uh, 15 by 15 heat press uh i remember when i was waiting for this man i was like a kid at the door i was like ralphie in the christmas story trying to uh wait on his his rifle his red uh what was the name of that hunting rifle he wanted you know what i'm saying though <laughs> so uh i was waiting for this bad boy you know i did my research on uh you know heat presses that i should get and, and I, I kept coming to this one uh, a couple of videos I watched from different YouTubers uh, directed me toward this one. And they also had a split deal where you could get some vinyl. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, you get a bunch of vinyl. You get, the, you get the press for a little cheaper. So that was one of the things that enticed me as well. Because I'm like, well, I don't want to pay separately for the vinyl. And you don't get the, you don't get like five yards. You get like the uh, one yard rolls. But I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool for me because I'm a beginner. You can see my studio over here as well. Got a recording studio. Uh, but anyway, back over here. Uh, so that was one of the things that attracted me to this. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below for everything. You know, for the vinyl deal. So right now, I think it's if you buy, I believe, $300 worth of vinyl, you get this press for, I believe, $200. When it's normally, I believe, $400. So, I mean, that's a good deal. Uh, so not only was I satisfied with getting this heat press for my, my shirts, I decided to get the hat press, as you can see right here. I was that impressed with this. So just to give you an update, it's been a year later. I never had not one issue with this. I recommend this for beginners be for the simple fact. I know a lot of people go on Amazon and you get these heat presses where they make coffee mugs and and then and, and do all this other stuff so you do shirts coffee mugs and a bunch of pleather stuff but i liken that to the saying uh jack of all trades master none if you get a machine like that that's doing all this other stuff uh it's not going to be great at just one thing because it's trying to it's putting all this output and energy to a multiple things so it's not going to be great and those those heat presses they're cheaper for a reason they have the tendency to break and they don't have long uh shelf life um and that's just the research i came up to uh to me this is a great entry level heat press and i've seen people who had who've been in business years i mean 10 15 years and had this press and haven't had one issue with this press so not only is it a great intro heat press it's a great just overall heat press it's solid look at this thing it's a little hot but it's solid uh simple to understand um and good to go by and they offer um an auto open version if you're into that so we give you an idea of what we're dealing with and you can adjust uh you can adjust uh what you need to right here this is how you adjust how uh hard you want it to press down right here this little button or this knob right here see how that turns so right is looser and then lefter. When you turn it left is uh tighter. You know, uh cart sold separately. I do got these carts to me, these are like the best. Let me see that or not. These are the best carts, these hydraulic carts, because they could move around. I got these from Harbor Freight. Um so let me give you an example how this look at this. Press that bad boy on there. And you gotta be firm with this. Don't be don't be on no pussy shit. You gotta be firm with this press. I remember when my one boy was like, why are you pressing it so hard? 
And I was like, I told him to press it down, and he damn near flipped it over because he was he wasn't a real man like me. And you got to be fucking firm with it when you bring it up too. You know. And look at it. That's great. So awesome. Now <clears throat> let's do the heat press or the hat press. And I know I already got this on here, but I just want to give you an example. And what I like to leave my heat at on this press, uh, it depends on what you're pressing. Right now, I'm not working with traditional vinyl or uh, for this particular logo. But normally, I keep it 330, uh, 15 seconds. See that pop right out? Amazing. Look at that. I don't know if you see that or not. Well, I'm trying to. Work the focus on here. Black abstract, baby. Uh, hat press, keep at 302 or 305. Uh, around, eh, let's say around 300, depends. Uh, in 15 seconds as well. So, yeah, that's what I, I don't know if you can see that or not. So, around 300. So, yeah, man, um, year in, uh, Trans Pro, Pro Roll, heat press, uh, I think this is the best entry level heat press you can get. And I just think it's an overall solid. It's, it's like a workhorse, man. It's just one of those. When I every review video I watched about this machine, they didn't have any negative things about it. I'm talking about this particular. I can't vouch for the R open or the uh you know the 12 by 12. I'm talking about the 15 by 15 Trans Pro. Heat press. I have not had not one issue with this damn machine, and I use the hell out this machine. You know, uh, and thank you for everybody that that buys merch from me. Um, and on the website, uh, I give away a lot of free stuff too as well. Uh, I use this machine like every, every day. Sometimes I'll turn it on um, and won't use it till later, and but I'll have it on all day and then don't shut out. It, it, it emits great heat, which is great because I'm in a I'm down in a basement. It gets cold um because i'm in the basement so i love this thing man and the heat the hat press the same thing solid it's a workhorse man great company uh i'll leave a link for everything in the description if you want to buy this i'm telling you don't go with that them cheap ones you you know what the saying you get what you pay for get you something that's gonna last you don't want to get you something that's gonna break if you can't afford it right now put your little ducats to the side or uh, you could do even do the affirm where you make payments on this thing, or just put your money to the side. You know, put whatever you could put aside and buy what you want to do. That's what I did uh, when I first got this. You know, put my little ducats to the side, and I, I had my mindset on this. It was between this and another one. I ain't gonna say the other one because I didn't get that, and I don't get paid by them. But <laughs> uh, this is what I decided to go with. Um, and hey, man, I've been satisfied ever since. Look at the logo. Future Trainer. So if you need merch too, make sure you go to iamtrill.com. Uh, or you can DM me, Instagram me on uh, Instagram, Twitter. You know, I answer promptly. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Probably get that to my, um, you know, whoever wanted. DM me, you can get this shirt. I'll mail it to you. Free of charge. Uh, it's the Black Abstract signing out. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Sorry for the blurriness. But yeah, the Trans Pro Pro World Heat Press. Uh, it's great, man. You want another demonstration? Let's see. We can go down. Look at that bad boy. Look at it. It's going to count down for you, too. And what do you know? Like I said, I got this at 320. So I'm using a different kind of vinyl. Look at that. Beat right when it's ready. You come up with it. Don't just come right up with it. You gotta, you gotta, it's like a little uh, in between there. You know what I'm saying? But look at that. And always press your shirts. Before you put the design on, always press them up to get all the wrinkles out. Get as many wrinkles as you can. You know, that way you gotta iron your shirt. You press all, I press the, the sleeves first. I do the whole thing. I get all the wrinkles out. Take a, a lint roller, try to get all the, uh, you know, any surface things we can't see. Uh, so it's just a smooth when you put that vinyl in there. It's just smooth sailing But you see it. It's 1985 uh, crest logo Black abstract, you know As always peace
Hit me if you got any other questions. Leave it in the uh, comments. Peace.